guys, this is part two of that last video. Um, it asked me if they could access it, and well, that ended the video. So, here's part two. Okay, click finish. And it should open up VirtualBox. So to create a new operating system, you want to want to click New. Then you type in a random name. I'm just gonna say Windows XP. And it auto detected that. Make sure it says 32 bit, not 64. Click Next. If you want the internet on it to work better. Then you might want to raise this. It'll raise it pretty high. Now create. Make sure it's VDI, virtual box disk image. You can do whatever you want. I'm doing fixed size. And then set it uh shit to 15 gigabytes. Create. Should only take like 30 seconds. All right, so now that it, it was done, I'm gonna click start. You see this is already downloaded. You're gonna wanna click this folder with the green arrow. And then you wanna go to downloads and then you'll find it right here. And then you click start. I'm gonna turn these off. It should be right here. So just wait. Click enter. Go up and select this one. See right here, it says Windows XP Professional Setup. So that means you're doing stuff right. I'm sorry if you can't see my mouse, I accidentally forgot to turn on show cursor while recording, so. It'll be hard. Don't do anything. And it should show this. So this means you're making progress. And here we go. Now we're at setup. So just keep following my instructions. Ignore the setup will approximately will set will complete in approximately 39 minutes. I know you can see my mouse now, because I type it like this. Come on. Let me just drag you up. Ah. Yeah, don't click capture. Okay, click next. Type in your name. Um, you don't have to do anything here. Next. Oh, 
Oh yeah. By the way, Windows XP was a major deal back then. This made Windows what it is today. I'm just gonna type in cool bros. Type in whatever you want. Wait. there. You're chomping, that's just me eating some goldfish. Might take a little bit. Let me skip ahead. Okay, just finished up. Okay. Okay, again. I'm gonna play this awesome music. next neither of these will work so I'm just gonna click not right now because this is when one of the XP still had support but they ended the support ended support in April 2014 I'm gonna click yes because I'm at home yes or no Gavin. Okay, finish. And there you go. You got yourself a working Windows XP. Now, if you want this to go in full screen, then want to go to Devices, Insert Guest Edition CD Image. Click next, click finish, or, I mean next, uh, click install. Click, um, choose whatever you want, I'm just gonna reboot it now though. We should make it bigger. Now you want to go to view, full screen mode, which, and there you go. I don't know if you guys can see, but there. Let me exit out. Okay, still recording. So, let me get back into full screen. So, if you want to get connected to the net. If you want to get connected to the network that's on your rate, like on the computer that you have, because this is just VirtualBox. You're going to want to go start. Um, control panel. Um, network and internet connections. Um, Hmm. Network connections. Um. 
Uh, I think it's create a new connection. Yep, create a new the connection. Click next, 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 finish. Do not go into this. So now you're connected to the network. You want to add more accounts. Get out of here. Go back to the control panel. Get user accounts. And you can add more by clicking create a new account. Type in the new account name. Click next. If you don't want them to uh, take a hold of this virtual box, click limited or this this OS create account. And bam! Man, I love these. And um, if you want me to make another video on how to do more stuff on this thing, just ask. And just gonna shut it off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.